Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. Name few of events you like to use in the login in SSIS package. So login is a way to uh, capture the information, uh, runtime information for your package uh, and we can store that information in a SSIS table, uh, uh, SQL Server table or we can uh, store that in text file or XML file or Windows event or even as a trace file and we can open uh, with the SQL profile. So, this question is very important when it comes to events or what the people do when they go to package enable login they feel like okay we have these containers here and then we have detail here when they go to detail and this easy thing to do click on the events so they what they do they select all the events and then they go to data flow and then select all the events so they don't care or they never had experience uh, what are the limitations uh, or what can be tr what uh, trouble these uh, uh, click all can create for them so as an experienced person if you are, had been working uh, on uh, SSIS for a long time you you would be well aware of that by just clicking here it is going to log all the events uh, for that uh, uh, container in your table or a file and it is a lot more information you need to debug your package uh, I have done a video uh, just a minute ago with the uh, events uh, you want to select all of them or not my recommendation is go don't go for that for one data flow what I wh what I have showed uh, it put 900 uh, records uh, in the table so if you have 10 of them it's gonna put 9000 records so it, you are wa wasting your resources uh, on the unnecessary information so you want to select uh, the most important information that can be helpful uh, while you are de debugging uh, or troubleshooting your package let's go back to the package level and now see different events uh, what are available to us so here what I do I'm gonna dis uh, deselect all of them on error so that's very important information uh, because you want to know the errors uh, you want to see what error happened and what was the reason you can read the entire description uh, used to define action to perform when an er error occurred so that's important for us if our package fail we want to get that information on uh, on ex uh, exact status change handle changes uh, or execution status use the define action to perform when the execution status changes I don't care about that one okay so I what I I'm looking here I'm looking for more on error on uh, post execution on pre execution on validation I want to know if my package failed because of some validation and uh, on progress so I want to know handle progress notification use the define action to perform at progress intervals so I want to know about progress so that 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 in the in the on the package level so that that's important on task failed I, w I would like to have this information so it handled the uh, task failures used to define action to perform when a task fail so that's very important for me to know that uh, here on warnings if you want to capture the warnings you can go ahead and click on this one but these are the four or five of them that's mostly I use it and uh, they are pretty good to give me enough information to dig into the uh, error and uh, come back with the solution now I'm gonna go to data flow the events are different on each of the uh, container so on package you have different on uh, data flow you will have different on uh, execute sql task you will have different on for each loop you will have different type of events so you have you want to make your selections according to the container here on error is very important on post execution I, I would like to have some information on progress i would like to have information on task fail i would like to have some information so here if you are see the buffer uh, leak uh, com component time uh, pipeline execution plan uh, pipeline ex execution tree these are related information uh, to the data flow if you are interested in these information you might want want to enable that but i i'm more you know towards uh, um, getting the information for errors so i try to get those uh, which give me the information about errors so i can debug that that, that's uh, pretty much it so uh, if you see my selection the, the, this is what I do there are there are other things uh, uh, when it comes to uh, detail debugging uh, you want to know more information then uh, you might want to go at that time and enable them uh, and uh, on your dev machine and see what information you get it and uh, and if you feel that's important for you to have it then you select that one and deploy your packages you know with these uh, options so thanks very much for watching this video once again do not 
select all of the events because it's easy and you don't have to pay attention so don't click here it, it is going to log tons of information and waste the resources of your machine thanks